Hello everyone, esteemed ladies and gentlemen, dear community, a warm welcome to this new video. It's great to have you back with us. Today we have a brand new laser engraving machine in the test, with a lot of power, numerous features, and all at a fair price. We're talking about the new Alpha from Algo Laser. What can we really expect from this laser engraving machine? Is it worth it and is it a good investment? We'll take a detailed look at that in today's video, so without further ado, let's not waste any time. Let's start right after the intro. But if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for free and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. You can find the current prices in the video description below. Thank you for your support and let's get started. For those in search of a compact yet powerful engraving laser to engrave various materials and even cut thicker materials, I might have just the right thing for you today. On the table we have the brand new Algo Laser Engraving Laser, specifically the Alpha model. What can we really expect from this laser? That's precisely what we're going to explore in today's video. But first, let's take a look at what's included in the package to see what comes with the product. Starting from the top, we have two separate small cardboard boxes. In one, we have the installation and user manual, and in the other, we have some test materials, including wood, metal, and plastic, so we can perform some test engravings and cuts with the laser. Directly below, we unveil the actual laser engraving machine. This includes the four frame parts, the movable axis, and the laser module. Then we have the smaller accessories such as the power supply, power cord, and a USB Type-C cable for connecting the laser. Not to forget, there's another small box with miscellaneous accessories inside, including wrenches and screws needed to assemble the laser, and last but not least, safety goggles. And let's not forget, in a separate cardboard box, there's the practical air pump, also with instructions. As you can see, the Alpha package comes with a lot of accessories, which I personally find extremely practical. It means you can start using the laser in practical applications as soon as it's assembled, and I would say let's also take a quick look at the assembly process. Regarding the assembly, I can tell you that it was surprisingly easy, contrary to my expectations. This is because the laser comes pre-assembled to a great extent in the package, and on the other hand, the instruction manual, although entirely in English, is very understandable. This is mainly because it consists of about 90% images. That means you can actually skip most of the text and you can still assemble the device very easily and comfortably. In my test, assembling the laser took around 25 minutes, partly because I made a small mistake in between and had to disassemble it and reassemble it. This means that if you assemble the device efficiently and quickly, it should take between 20 and 40 minutes. The key thing is to ensure that the cable routing is secure. This means that the cables and hoses cannot be easily detached, so please make sure to lead the cables from above into the workspace, as otherwise the carriage cannot move all the way back. Yes, that's exactly the mistake I made at the beginning. Otherwise, as I mentioned before, the instructions are self-explanatory, so there's no need to read English texts or anything of the sort, which I personally find very convenient. And there it is, now on the table, the Algo Laser Masterpiece in its assembled state, namely the Alpha. Starting with its exterior, the Alpha is a laser engraver of the usual size class. This means we have a usable workspace of 400 by 400 millimeters with the device itself measuring around 580 by approximately 670 millimeters. Furthermore, the laser gives a very high quality impression in terms of its construction when you take a closer look, and it's extremely robust thanks to the thick frame and thick aluminum profiles around it. On the underside, there are four generous rubber feet that provide a secure and non-slip grip even on smooth surfaces such as this table. The laser is powered and moved by two large stepper motors. These are located here and here at the bottom and ensure movement in the X and Y directions. The advantage here is that for vertical movement, i.e. up and down, the laser has two drive belts which are located on the right and left side of the frame. 
This makes it easier and more efficient to move the carriage. In cheaper devices, often only one side is driven by a belt and the other side is simply dragged along, resulting in minor misalignment. This is not the case with this laser. The next advantage of the Algo laser relates to belt tensioning. As mentioned earlier, we have a total of three belts installed, one here, here, and here. And with a corresponding small screw on the respective backside, it's possible to tension the belt very easily and comfortably. Here's the screw for that. Simply turn it to the right to tighten the belt and to the left to loosen it. The appropriate Allen wrench is included in the package. Now, let's talk about speed, and I must say, the Alpha has a lot to offer in this regard as well. It's designed for speeds of up to an impressive 20,000 millimeters per minute. This means the laser moves at top speeds across the workspace, allowing for significantly faster engravings than lasers that only offer, for example, 10,000 millimeters per minute. Additionally, there's another, in my opinion, significant advantage compared to relatively inexpensive lasers. The Alpha also has two limit switches, one here and one here for each axis. This is extremely practical because the laser automatically detects when it's reached its home position. This means we don't have to manually position it at zero zero and tell it, okay, you're in your starting position. Instead, it moves until it activates both limit switches, then it knows it's at zero zero and is ready for use. Speaking of operation, the Alpha offers various ways to provide it with information. The physical interfaces can be found on the left side. As you can see, the laser has three connections on the left side. At the bottom, there's the power input for the 24 volt power supply, then the output for the air pump, and at the top, the data port for connecting to the PC. Very positively, it's a USB Type-C port. So this brings us to the next important point, which is connecting it to the computer, where some devices can sometimes pose difficulties. With the Algo laser, however, there were pleasantly no issues under Windows 10. I connected the laser to my Windows 10 computer via the USB Type-C port. Windows 10 automatically recognized and installed the device. Then I opened Lightburn and could directly operate the laser without the need for any additional settings or installations. On the other hand, I also tested the whole setup on macOS. There, the laser was not immediately recognized under Lightburn, which means that additional steps are required to use the laser directly. And not to forget the wireless option, which allows you to engrave images directly from your smartphone using the Algo Laser app. However, I would recommend continuing to use a PC because there are many more settings available and, in my opinion, we can control the laser more precisely on a PC. For this reason, I used the Algo laser in practice exclusively with software on a PC, where I thoroughly tested the device for you in real-world scenarios. But before we take a look at the test results, let me share a few final words about the technology, specifically the heart of the machine, the actual laser module. The Algo Laser Alpha features a powerful laser module with a solid optical output power of 20 watts. Inside, four laser diodes, or rather laser beams, are precisely focused onto a single point to achieve such high output power. In practice, this laser allows for a quite precise laser spot. At 100%, we have a laser spot size of 0.16 by 0.14 millimeters, which is quite compact. At 3% power, it becomes even more precise with dimensions of 0.05 millimeters by 0.06 millimeters. This makes the laser highly precise, but at 3% power, we can only achieve good results with very slow speeds in practice. Another significant advantage of the laser comes into play when focusing. First, it's worth mentioning that there is a laser protective cover at the bottom which can easily be removed as it's attached to the laser with four small magnets. This is very advantageous when we want to quickly remove the cover. Additionally, the laser features semi-automatic focusing, so we don't need an aluminum cylinder or similar objects that we regularly need to place under the laser for focusing. Instead, we have a small lever on the left side that we lower completely. Then we release the laser at the back of the axis and lower it to the ground. This gives us the perfect focus. Afterward, we tighten the laser and can retract the small focusing pin at the bottom. 
Furthermore, on the top of the laser, as you can see, there are two cables. One of them is for the air supply from the air pump, which we should not forget either. The air pump logically ensures that fresh air is regularly directed to the laser module. The air comes out right here from the laser spot, and it helps to exhaust all the smoke generated when engraving and cutting wood directly. Because of this, it's only possible for us to truly harness the maximum power of this laser, and I would say let's also take a detailed look at the good results. I started with dozens of test engravings until I found the perfect final results for this laser. This means that if you use this laser, you can use these settings to achieve optimal results as well. I began with testing the engraving power, as shown here, with the speed in millimeters per minute on the y-axis and the power in percentage on the x-axis. As you can see here, at 100% power and 1000 millimeters per minute, the laser practically burns holes in the wood. So we have this nicely descending curve, and even down here at 6,000 millimeters, we still get good results. I would personally recommend aiming for about 4 to 4.5 thousand millimeters per minute at 100% power. With this, really good results like this image and practice are possible. With this laser, you can also work with thousands of other materials such as wood, metal, plastic, leather, leaves, and even slate. I've also thoroughly tested this on this large test board here. You can see it here. I had the laser engrave points from 1000 to 10,000 millimeters, and as you can see, the drop in power is not as significant as I personally expected. This means that even at 10,000 millimeters, we still achieve excellent results. This means in practice, we can easily go up to 15,000 millimeters per minute, and that naturally leads to fantastic results in a very short time. Lastly, due to the powerful 20 watt laser module, it's also possible to cut materials like wood, metal, or plastic. I've also prepared a detailed laser test board for you. As you can see, the speed is significantly reduced from 80 to 155 millimeters. Even at the high speed of 155 millimeters in one pass, it completely cuts through the material, which is 4 millimeter plywood. This means that I wouldn't go beyond 155 millimeters for 4 millimeter plywood. By the way, the laser is rated for up to 12 millimeter plywood in one pass, but of course, you have to significantly lower the speed for that. What else can be said? In practice, creativity knows no bounds. So far, so good. We've now thoroughly examined the new Alpha device from Algo Laser, but I'm eager to hear your opinion, maybe even your experience. Feel free to share it in the comments below. Otherwise, I would say if you enjoyed the video and the effort that went into it, please show your appreciation with a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to this channel and ringing the notification bell to ensure you don't miss any future videos. You can find the current prices in the video description below. Thank you for your support, and with that, take care and see you next time. Goodbye.